Hi, this is the unboxing of the Aber number 35K23 upgrade set for the Tami Artram 5 to make it into an Israeli tank. <clears throat> it's a box, quite a big box, quite thick as well. And we have the instructions, which I'll go over later on. Right. In the first packet that you get, you get the the two halves of the gun barrel and you get some different size metal rod there for the turret rear turret basket and I think you use them on the the whole one as well and then you get some different size wire and another piece of uh, brass wire another small bag and we get the 30 caliber barrels which come in two pieces and these here are for the 60 millimeter mortar which is very nice and then you get the 50 cal barrel with its perforated sleeve and these ones here i think they're for the grab for the handle the firing handle on the 50 cal but i can't be 100 percent sure And here we have the <coughs> sorry, the two pieces for the barrel, the fume extractors. This one with the rib is the British one, and the one that's smooth all the way along is the American one. And here we get bits that go onto it. And this thin section here is for the aerial that goes on the on the turret. Try and get in closer, give you a better look. And we come on to the first piece of photo wedge. And this this piece here is for the hammock at the back of the hull. And we get some jerry can holders. I think these are part of the fenders. I'm not 100% sure. And these are the supports of the fenders that I am sure of. That's the first one. The second one, I'll get that right way. And these are the fenders that go on the side. And these are the, the front parts, the mud guards, and the rear mud guards, which will require some careful bending. But as long as you anneal them all, they should bend and steer. Some little bits, I think. These are part of the mud guard as well. Some bolts will need adding to these. And these here, if you bend them round and that's how you make them workable. Can be a bit tricky, but a lot of patience and possible to do it. <clears throat> here we have the, the mesh for the rear engine deck. Two different types as you have the there's an early and a late version of the engine deck it's the t55 and t55a i could be wrong though but. and on to the fourth piece this one we get <clears throat> the turret ring And these are the boxes, different boxes that go on. And they're all, they're all the workable. Here we have the little holders for the fire extinguishers. Lots of small pieces. Fun times ahead. <laughs> and for the final piece, This big part here, large part, is for the turret basket, the rear basket. And these, this is for the side bin next to the loader's hatch. And we get the hoppers to hold the ammo cans for the 30 can. And we also get the 
I'm trying to think of the name. The cradles for the 30 cal. And this the detailing for the commander's hatch. What else have we got there? And lots of other bits and pieces. And that's that for that. Right, thanks for watching. Here we have the instruction sheet with a nice line drawn on the front. And here we get this is what you get in the box. Five sheets of photo wedge and all the other bits and pieces. On the next page, if you want any reference, it gives you choices of reference. And this part down here, which is quite helpful, just gives you a little tips of how to do some of the photo wedge, different pieces. And then we get all the tools you may need. Soldering iron, solder flux. I'm actually going to try and use the, the, the solder paste and the little heat gun, which I've seen somebody do and it seems a lot easier. First page, one of the fenders and all the attachments. The other, the other side of the fender. I think that's that's a rear side. I could be wrong. The attachment to the side. And on the other side. Some very delicate parts. Some of them get you to make springs, which I assume will mean that you'll be able to work them, which would be rather good. And there we've got everything on the front of the hull. All the lights. And I think these here are little springs. So they should work as well. More work on the front. There are parts of the stretcher. And there are the lights. These are the bits we were talking about earlier, the foot wedge. And these are grills for an early captured T55. I'm not really up on my T55, so I'm going to have to check some on a reference to make sure I get it correct. This is nice that they give you. It's so you can uh, make these little grab handles. So each one's exactly the same. And here's the grills for the late. Uh, model captured t 55 a I'll come out you might be able to see what's no doesn't work <clears throat> and here we're starting all the fuel drums and all the piping for them And here we have some of the side boxes that go on the fender. These will all be workable. May take a little bit of time and some patience, but they should all work. It depends how crazy you want to go. Although saying that, if you don't want to go crazy, you wouldn't buy this set. And here we have the, the box for the oil cans and the hammock. And some more fender boxes. <clears throat> These are large ones. And bits 
some more, the thinner ones. And there it gives you the, the turret ring, which is an odd thing to supply when the, the turret's going to be on. But if you want to do a, a T55 APC that then uh, they used, then that will be helpful. And it is also give you the option to use the plastic boxes out of the kit and just cut things off, hatches and things like that and put them on and the handles. And here we have the detailing of the Commander's Cupola. Then we get onto the turret with the light and some some latches and handles for the loader's hatch. You also get a very very nice uh, metal turned barrel for the 60mm mortar and for the, <clears throat> the aerial mounts. They're really nice. This upgrade set is well worth the money. I know it's pricey but it's worth every penny. Here we have the th uh, 50 cal, sorry, 50 cal upgrade set. And these here are for the Uzis, the, the orders for the Uzi, Uzi machine guns. And then we come on to the rear turret basket, which will be quite tricky. There'll be lots of dry fitting to get this right. But as long as you take your time, it should go well. And here we have the side bin uh, that goes next to the loader's hatch. And some parts to fit the track onto the side of the turret. And then we come to the hoppers for the 30 cal machine guns and the ammo can holders. Very detailed. Then we come to the 30 cals and on these you get a barrel, very nice metal barrel and you get the, <coughs> sorry, you get the 30 cal cradle and here we come to the barrel, the main gun barrel and on this you get, you get two types of fume extractor. The first type, which is, uh, it's not got a rim on the end, that's the American 1, 105L7. And the one with the lips on either side, that's a British 105L7. Most of the photographs that I've seen are the British one. But that doesn't mean that the American one was never used. And that's it.